What is up everybody, Adi from GameStorm here, and today I'm doing a review over Beast Mode in Gears of War 3. Beast Mode, if you are familiar with Horde Mode from Gears of War 2, is the complete opposite. You're the Locust fighting the survivors, wave after wave. Instead of going to increments of 10 waves, though, like in Horde, you go to 12 waves. And I think it only goes to 12 waves, it doesn't go to 50. Um, it's pretty fun. At first, I was kind of skeptical about it. I didn't know if it was going to be good or not. Um, it looked weird. I don't know. But uh, it's something different, and it's something to try. If you have some friends, it's actually really fun. Um, it's not as good as Horde, I would say. And Horde's not as good as multiplayer. But uh, anyways, it starts out, you choose a map, and then this little box pops up and tells you how to play. You have money to buy different beasts every time you kill a survivor or one of their sentry guns or some kind of object on the map, you get more money to spend towards your uh, creatures. Here's some creatures, got like tickers, wretches, drones, you know, basic ones you start out with. And uh, you're timed. You have one minute to kill all the survivors. If you don't kill them, then you lose. But if you kill them in time, you go to the next wave. Uh, right now I'm playing as a drone. As you can see, there's barriers. These barriers you can destroy and get uh, more points and money for. And the more points you get, the more time gets added on, so you have more time to kill them. But, uh, you know, there's certain certain uh, creatures better for certain tasks, like killing. The drone's better at killing the survivors, but then the uh, tickers are better at blowing up the barriers and stuff like that. And after every wave, it shows you where the survivors are because it's hard to find them. You have to hold, if you hold down the left bumper, you can see where they are. And it unlocks more and more creatures every time you go to different waves, as you can see. I unlocked a whole bunch of different more. Uh, right now, I'm playing as a boomer. And they're pretty effective. But uh, one bad thing is your health, once you start getting hurt, it does not go down. It goes to red and it never goes back down. So you got to be careful. That's why you got to spend your money wisely and kill as many things as you can. This right here is a Serapede, which is pretty nifty. But uh, I don't know, there's some creatures that are good and some that aren't. I don't really like this one. And right now I'm playing as like a baby corpser, which is awesome. And uh, you're not just fighting you know, the survivors, you find them in silverbacks. You've got the heroes, which are the cogs. You have to uh, down them and execute them for them to die, which makes it hard. And if you notice here, this is the Berserker. If you're a uh, Gears 1 player, you'll know what this is. This thing is badass. It cannot get hurt very easily, and it destroys everything. Especially towards those last levels, like Wave 12, it gets really hard, and you want to use these all the time. But they cost a lot of money, so you got to be careful. But as you can see, I'm just destroying them with this Berserker. You can run people over, smash them. Man, it's crazy. But yeah, you know, overall, Beast Mode's a pretty fun game type. Um, it's not as good as Horde, like I said. But if you have some friends, I would try it out. And, you know, it's 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 pretty fun. So uh, this is Adi with my review of Beast Mode. Hope you liked it. And uh, go try it out. All right, see you next time.